Maria, everything under control? Uh, yeah, running like clockwork. Is Donna around? Uh, she's, um, uh, she's gone to the pharmacy. That's been a mix-up. Mr. Prendel, some good news and some bad news. The good news is that the x-rays didn't reveal any renal stones, so we can rule that out. And the bad? The bad news is that we found some blood in your urine, so we need to get to the bottom of that. Now, your other blood tests have come back clear, so that should rule out any infection. Let's organize a CT scan, okay? Right, sure, no problem. I'll be honest with you, Mr. Prendel, you're a little bit of a mystery to me right now. What do you do for a living? I'm a clerk for a barrister. But I'm signed off at the moment. Stress. All right, let's get you scanned, see what we find out. Hey, what about my scan? Uh, yeah, we'll get you to a scan as soon as we can. I've just got a couple of things to do. Hey, look, can't you just do my scan first? I just want to get treated and go home. The thing is, I do have other patients to deal with, too. No, I'm sorry. I, I'm just in so much pain. I know. Look, I will take you to your scan as soon as I can, OK? Um, bring you back something nice about this. Are you leaving us, Mr Dalton? Yeah, just for a couple of hours. I need to check into a hotel. Everything's all right here, though, isn't it? Yeah, although I've, um... Been reconsidering the catheter. Elaine says she doesn't want one. She's been through the mill enough as it is. Yes, I know, but the situation is going to recur. And in terms of monitoring your wife, effectively, it would make things easier. She says she doesn't want it. Okay. Yeah, is Mr. Hope available? Yeah, I'll wait. I'm sorry about earlier. Ben, you didn't mean it. It's all right. I know. Can I get you a coffee? No. Thanks anyway. Is there really no alternative for Ben Ed other than this lung lobe removal? No. Surely you must have some procedure up your sleeve you've always wanted to have a go at. That's not how it works, Mark. There's nothing else that can help him. What? Nothing. No, it's not practicable. But in an ideal world, the solution would be for Ben to have what's called an endobronchial carcinoid laser resection. We'll do that, Ben! It's a completely new kind of laser. I already know about it from this conference in Strasbourg. Mr. Hope? Yes? Uh, Dr. Valentine's on the phone. Oliver? Yeah. Do you say it's urgent? No. Right, well, tell him to get on with it. I'm busy. Is it available on the NHS? Uh, we could refer him to Leeds or Edinburgh. Right, even then, there's a five-month wait on this. Could they go private? Do you think they have that kind of money? Well, they could raise it, couldn't they? Now, raising that kind of money would take time, and time is something we just don't have. Thanks. If we delay, Ben's tumour would spread, his symptoms might develop, most likely, into post-obstructive pneumonia. We have to operate as soon as possible. The kid's got premiership clubs looking at him. Maybe his mum can find a benefactor. Well, I mean, I don't know, but I think it's academic. Yes, but it is not! Totally impossible, is it? Mark, we have to deal in the here and now, not the promise of a treatment that may or may not come. This thing costs over £100,000. Still, are you going to tell his mum or am I? Mark. Mark, we have to be realistic. So, you are going to tell her, right? We're not promising anything, OK? It is just a long shot. Where are you going? I'm going to speak to the powers of B at this end. Uh, about what? I'll let Mr Hope explain that. There might, just might, be another option for Ben. Donna, it's me. Look, your 30 minutes were up 10 minutes ago. Right, um, could you check on Mr. Garside for me, and could you get a couple of boxes of extra syringes from the store cupboard? Thanks. Um, and if you could do that stuff, then that'd be great. Cheers. You done? Yep, um, everything's going ahead. Theatre's running on time, and these are her notes. You're good, Sister Kendall. Oh, no, no, um, that's Donna's job. She's just... Really? It's 
far as I can see. She seems to be doing everything she can to avoid doing it at the moment. Mm. Yeah, she says she's not interested in the job anyway. Well, there you go, then. Look, if you don't go for it, I will. <laughs> but I look terrible in the uniform. Donna? Donna! I'm really sorry, but we're up against it out there. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just be a sec. Oh, I uh, didn't think you were going to reply. I wasn't sure if I was going to reply. You changed your mind. I just thought, what the heck, you know? Though I don't know who I'm kidding, I can't even fill in the application form. Look, I got stuck on this. What are the key qualities you think you would bring to this role? <sighs> well, um, you've got loads, haven't you? I mean, enthusiasm, energy, empathy. Hang on a sec, let me get all these down at all the E's, yeah? What was the first one? Energy... Donna, we've got to get back, please. Yeah, all right, I'll just be a minute. Yeah? And what ward do you get? <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah, drinks later, yeah. Cool. I thought you said you weren't celebrating. I don't know, did I? I can if I want to, can't I? Of course, it's just... It's not what you said earlier. But... Was that just for my benefit? No, don't be uh, stupid, man. How's my staffing doing? Uh, ECG good, LFT no problem. Uh, blood test clear. Excellent. Right, keep me informed. And congratulations. Try not to screw up. Enjoyed your session earlier. You? To me, like you were nodding off. That's how I look when I'm concentrating. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the uh, tea and coffee back there, please. Thank you. There's something else? Yes, actually. I wondered where you stood on developing Holby as a centre of excellence. I'm all for it. Good. Because there's a young man on AAU who needs a prestigious laser treatment that isn't available to him... Excuse me for a moment. Uh, where are the flowers and the biscuits? They should already be here by now. Sorry about that. You were saying? I was saying that if you are speaking to the board later on, you might want to mention this case to them. The PR alone could be fantastic. How much? Well, as much PR as the hospital could get. No. How much is the treatment? That's not the point, is it? If we think of all the people who would benefit over the next few years, then it's not that much at all. And there are only two other NHS hospitals in the country with this technology. How much, Mark? <sighs> Approximately 80, 90, uh, maybe 100,000 pounds. Impossible. Is there no other treatment available? Yes. A lung lobe removal. So why don't we offer that instead? We do. But his quality of life, his... His plans for the future would be massively compromised by that procedure. He's on the brink of becoming a professional footballer. Throw a stick out the window, it'll hit ten kids who think they've got a future playing football. I thought that too, This but... is a hospital, not Disneyland. We're not in the business of making people's dreams come true. No, I guess not. Well, I'll leave you to your flower arranging. I got all those E-words down that you mentioned. All I need now is the rest of the alphabet. <laughs> Look, I know you think I'm rubbish, all right? But in a parallel universe, I seriously am really good at job applications. OK, look, I'm due a break. Do you want me to have a stab at it? Would you? Yeah. Thank you, May. I think just go. OK. How's Mr. Prendel doing? Uh, he's asleep. The scan came back clean as a whistle. <clears throat> I'm sorry to stick my oar in, but are you sure there's anything wrong with him at all? Yeah, why would you say that? I'm just not convinced. He seemed to like his morphine early. Maybe that's all he's after. Well, there's blood in his urine. This could affect his urine sample. Come on, whatever happened to Mr. I see the best in everyone leaving? I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. Bring his file. Mr. Prendel, I'd like a quick word with you. Um, how'd you get that? What? That cut wasn't there before. I can't remember. If you've been tampering with your urine sample in any way, oh. you're not only wasting our time, but abusing other people.